was not dead. Why would you say that he was not dead? He had lost his consciousness. But if he had lost his consciousness, how could he see what was happening with his body? People gathering, touching, you know, all that process. He could see that, what was happening with his body. This Osho, let's name him what? Let's name him Osho Awareness. We call him our o Awareness Osho. And we call him this as Body Osho. Does that justify the, the names? Do they justify it's, uh, each other? This is the body of the Osho. This is the awareness of the Osho. The awareness was aware of the body. Right? Right? So body and awareness, they are different. It seems like that. It seems to be like that. According to his experience, it appears as if we have these two aspects. There is this body and there is this awareness. And they are two different entities. These are two different dimensions of life. And what is death? Is it death of the awareness or is it death of the body like this? So what is death? What is death? Is it when the awareness dies or is it when the body dies? That's a big question. Spiritual masters, they say the awareness never dies. The spiritual masters, they say that awareness never dies. It is the body that leads the awareness and we feel that this experience as death. We consider that as death. But in fact, these are two different things. So there is, is there death in reality? Awareness never dies. The one who sees never dies. The one who observes never dies. The one who experiences never dies. It is only what? What dies? It is only the body. Body can leave any moment. So that's the reason why Sadhguru, one of the greatest spiritual masters of the century, he says that death is nothing but death is a fiction. Death is a fiction. Death is not real. It is something that we have imagined or we have believed. But it is not the truth. Death is not true. Death does not happen. All right? Think about it. 